Hello, Twitch chat. Uh, welcome to week one of Aced. If you joined us for our preseason edition, it will be a little different than that show. Um, I'm joined this time by John Valandre, and Hi. he's a captain, so we get a little captain input on the split. Um, maybe he'll talk about how terrible it is to try to schedule games, because that's always terrible, and uh, how he feels uh, on the new season, and he'll also be able to talk a little bit about his game. Um, he, he just he just followed. Um, <laughs> we'll be able to talk a little bit about his game. Um, we're gonna talk about every division. Um, we're gonna talk about uh the games, how they how they shook out this week. We're gonna talk about uh who I think the two top teams are, in uh in each division, and we're gonna talk about the role MVPs this week, which is um something that you want to look out for to see if you got you got picked uh for your role MVP. Um, so we're going to actually just get right into it today. Uh, we'll also have the Twitch chat questions and the DFS lineup maker. So, uh, DFS is daily fantasy. It's for the LCS. It's a lot of fun. Um, what we'll be entering a $1 lineup. It's not, it's not going to make or break the bank. Um, but if we win, I'll put the money towards the winners of the OLS and, you know, it's just something more to play for. So without further ado, let's get into our week one breakdown of the OLS. Uh, it was a good week, actually. A lot of 2 O's across the board. Um, yeah. But there were some, some contested 1-1 one, one matchups. Mm -hmm. um, week 1 is always kind of a crapshoot. You have the teams who... Uh, they they scrim a lot, right? You know, they get into games together. And there's some teams, like my team... I, I didn't play with my the people on my team at nope. all. So, you know, that makes it a lot harder. Um, so, obviously, as a captain, John, you want to probably be scrimming but how do you get over that hump if you don't scrim like how do you try yeah. to get everybody coordinated yeah so i mean uh i've captained a few times now uh sort of my experience is you get a feel for your team pretty quickly to see their availability sometimes you get a bunch of players who are just like i'm i want to play a game every night and if you have a group like that it's pretty easy to scrim but uh a lot of the time you get like maybe one or two or three of your players aren't really available much during the week and aren't really interested in playing scrims. And uh, if that's the case, you know, I'd rather just... I'd rather have, like, better team mental than a little more preparedness. But that's just me. Like, I'm not... I, I'm, I, I'd I'm like to win titles, but uh, I'd rather just have a fun time for sure. You know, I don't want to yeah. tilt my team or anything. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I agree. Uh, I've been on teams where, you know, I scrimmed... Or played in like you know flex mm -hmm. flex queue or whatever like ten times before games. I've been in teams that you know didn't didn't play at all, and uh, both of them work. And that's why the first week you know, the first week you don't know what's gonna happen. But as the season goes on, you'll start to see how good teams are. Yeah. Uh, so with that, For sure. with that, let's let's jump right into the Penguins division. Uh, and the first game we have up is actually the game I played in this week, uh, the Mod Squad versus LA Kobe Twenty Four. No. Yeah, I, I missed this game. I was I was casting another game during this, but I was being fed updates in Twitch chat about uh, what was happening. Yeah, so when you when you when you take off three years, it's hard to you know knock off that that rust. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's get into it. The mod squad. Uh, they two owed us. I'm, I'm part uh -huh. of LA Kobe twenty four. Um, it was it was not pretty. Game one. Uh, you'll see right here actually. Game one we forfeited at seventeen minutes. Uh -huh. Um, because Meslong, and I'm sorry if I pronounce any of your names wrong, uh, your IGNs, you can tell me in a, in a private message on Facebook or hit me up on Discord, um, your pronunciation so I get it right in the future, but, uh, his game one at least was, uh, kind of terrifying. He had 10 kills at like 13 yeah. minutes, and, mm -hmm. um, we kind of were just demoralized. We were like, let's get us out of here, there's no reason being in this game. Um, but sometimes you gotta do that in the OLS, like... If you're getting stomped, there's no reason to sit there and stay getting stomped. We're not the LCS where, you know, yeah, like getting stomped is like being down 2-0 kills. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> we're we're not losing any sponsors by forfeiting. Exactly. Sometimes it's for the mental. Yeah. Gotta, for sure. You gotta go to the next game, which mm -hmm. is what we did. And game two was a lot closer. Um, <laughs> game two is the infamous game where Smegs got. Uh, like was, double flame horizon or yeah, some shit like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, it was it was not good. We had we lost to uh, Austin's Nunu no no 
I don't even know how he pronounces that. Nunu, Six, yeah. Nunu 680s. We lost to his early Draven pressure, and uh, we didn't really come back to that. Um, we had a couple great plays uh, from Amazing Grace and um, uh, Landrum. Um, I'm blanking on his in-game name right now. Matt Sorry. Landrum? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh... Because he's just Landry. It's not Tesseract anymore. Is that Matt Life? Is that Matt Life? Yeah. He also, yeah. he's a uh, old school player who actually came yeah. out of retirement and performed pretty well. OG, balled out. Pretty well. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, so a couple things just to say, like uh, the the games weren't particularly close. Uh, the first one went definitely to Mod Squad. The second one, um, it was just they kind of just needed one team fight victory and they kind of struggled for a little bit to get there. Uh, but like I said. The only thing the Kobe team can look at in the end is Landrum, like we said, triumphantly returned. Uh, his Ari was pretty phenomenal, was pretty important on getting catches, which kept, up, kept us in the game. Um, and Amazing Grace tried his best to carry us from the top lane, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Uh, and this is one of those perfect examples of uh, teams that scrimmed, a team that played together a little bit versus somebody mm -hmm. who hasn't played at all. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, that's the outcome. Um I guess kind of gives it away a little bit, but Mod Squad is sitting atop the division alone at three points. Yeah. Um, that does give it away what happened in our second game in the division, which was the Low Lies versus Neasley Large Rod. And um, this is the game that I casted. Okay, so you have some definitely some yes some input on this. So we'll talk yes. about game one right now. Uh, you, you game one was over. insane. Okay. Game one was uh, uh, one sided, probably from three minutes. Um, all thanks to uh, uh, Mist Boo's Darius. Oh, so it was Mist Boo, uh, not Flingo. Yes. Well, Flingo, Fling, had... Flingo also did well. He, okay. Like he he did well pr both games, but Mist Boo I think got a solo kill on Orn. Okay. Within the first five minutes, and from there, um, just absolutely wrecked top lane. I think Orn had uh, ten CS at like seven minutes. It was. Very crazy to watch, and the game was over at like 20 minutes. It was absolute stomp game one. Yeah, uh, so I was looking at box scores. Obviously, that's not the uh -huh. best thing to do. Um, yeah. But I saw Flingo, and I actually talked to Cassidy, who's the mid laner of Low Lights after the game, and he mm -hmm. he was floored. He was like, "There's no way this Flingo guy is this good. Like, who is this guy?" Yeah, he is really good. So yeah, uh, it's phenomenal. So. Yeah, some some of you some some old heads in Lollipop Pit may remember. I guess not not as old a head as Drew because Drew missed out. But yeah. Flingo was actually at the center of a huge Smurfing conspiracy. Oh, okay. Um, asking whether or not he was a Smurf because I think he entered at like gold, but he like totally like destroyed some diamond player or something in lane. He's very good. Just doesn't play uh, ranked. I maybe I don't know, but it. Uh, yeah, he played. He played like Aurelia. Uh, 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 somebody, somebody who uh, still has the the documentation. Please comment on the Facebook post with Flingo's Aurelia, because I know there's like a v YouTube video of it or something. And uh, I think a, a, an important thing I noticed is the low life's power becomes from their pot, their bot lane with Brandon. For sure. With Slicko, yep. with Slicko and Stash, and yeah. Stash played Swain, which is a champion. Yeah. If you get ahead, okay, you're gonna be a force. But mm -hmm. they got behind. They didn't and, really get ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And that leads into the game two, where he played. I think he played Thresh, right? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, so he played Thresh, and Slicko yep. went absolutely insane on his yeah. main. I'm pretty. Is he still a Vayne? He, he used to be a Vayne. He yeah. Uh, he still main. he still likes playing Vayne. Yeah. yeah. Seventeen kills was I think mm -hmm. ended up being the highest kill total in a single game this this week. Um, it was pretty insane. Uh, and that was just a, it was crazy to see the complete difference in games from game one and two. Yeah. Yeah, uh, game two, like you said, absolutely different game. Um, uh, needlessly large rods, kind of actually still got ahead in that game. But um, I think uh, the singed pick really had me scratching my head because I know that uh, Miss Boo likes to play uh, uh, Trindamir. And um, late game, he didn't have any real split push pressure as singed, whereas it's Trindamir, he'd be, you know, pulling so many. Like he was still pulling a lot of people. But he didn't have the damage to kill the vein, whereas I think on Trinimir he would have, and it might have actually switched the game over for his team. Yeah, um, I mean that's obviously one of those things where, again, yeah, you know, early in the season, yeah. maybe they they don't make that mistake a little bit later. Maybe he is more adamant that he plays uh, something like that because you never know if it's like a team 
asking you, hey, do you play this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you play this? Versus uh -huh. a, hey, I want to play this. Um, so, again, one of those things early in the season, you just kind of see those things happen. And uh, later in the season, maybe when they get to the playoffs or something, uh, that'll be rectified. But um, yeah, for due, sure. to, due to this game, these two teams will be tied for second place yeah. uh, in this division, which is going to mm -hmm. lead us into the power ranking for this division only. Mm -hmm. um, so the way I did it was I wanted to show you guys the first team. Uh, the first team I have is the Mod Squad. I'm going to preface this by saying I don't actually think they're the best team in the division, but I don't think you can discount them because they did 2-0. So I think you have to give them the top spot, you know? Um, but I was looking at their KDAs, and apart from Attila, who put up a very nice 8.67, it's not like they were like super high. They were kind of just middle of the road. And you'll see when we get mm -hmm. down to the other divisions and you start seeing the top teams in those, you have some bona fide carries. Um, yeah. This team is kind of, you know, they seem like they just kind of play well together. And like to to point it out, like Attila, he was on a very safe, safe care. What's, what's it called? An OLS mid, right? Yeah. Where you might not be as good as your opponent, but you play something like a Ziggs, which is what he played in both games. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that play is safe. You get to keep your KDA up. So we'll have to see how this goes through the year, throughout the um, the season. And uh, Mod Squad is the team that I feel is least likely of my number one teams to stay in the top two. Yeah. Um, uh, Stash on Low Lifes actually told me before this that uh, he uh, guarantees a first place finish for his team. Oh, well, to jump into that, they are my number two team. Um so this team is very interesting to me. Uh, their KDAs I don't think are very good at showing uh -huh. because that first game was such a stomp that it really like you know crapped out their KDAs. But like I just think it, it just comes down completely to NC Pie Man and Asian Cuber. We know what Dunsey's gonna yep. give you in the mid lane, and that yep. bot lane can pop off. But what yeah. are those two gonna give you? Asian Cuber is very new to the game, mm -hmm. and we've all been there. You can play and play and play, but it takes a while to get good at League of Legends. So we'll have to see if sticking him on a top laner, because when I left the OLS, we'll just go back in time a little bit. When I left the OLS, yeah. it wasn't like top, top lanes where you stuck less experienced players. Yeah. But now we have tons of good top lane players. And we do. It's and terrifying. It's, this this division, this Penguins division, every player, uh, every every team besides low lives has like a plat plus top laner. It's crazy. Yeah. So it's one of those. It's one of those things where I'm I'm interested to see where this team goes. Um, it's team it's this team low life is actually the team I'm most afraid to play. I don't really want to play them. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see in a couple weeks. Um, now we're gonna get into the rule MVPs of the week. Uh, this is the fun. I think this is the best part of the OLS or Ace. I mean, uh, I have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I'm actually mm -hmm. gonna keep track of it all throughout the year. So if you're like a multi-time winner, I'll put like X3, X2, whatever. Sick. Uh, and then. We also do an end-of-year award show for anybody who's new to the show. Uh, we'll be doing that at the end of the year, and I'll ha it'll be a little bit longer show, probably close to an hour and a half, and it's a lot of fun, and we'll use the past shows as, as data to push forward. But let's get right into this. In the rules MVP of the week for the Penguins division in the top lane, despite going 0-2, I really couldn't find somebody who did like way better than Amazing Grace. Now, I understand that he's my top laner, but he yeah. he single-handedly almost carried game two for us on his graves, and game one he's the only person that didn't lose horribly. Um, mm. So I and I looked at the stats of the other top laners, and there wasn't really anybody who caught my eye. Uh, mm -hmm. But also I was only looking at score sheets, so I only saw Miss Boo's game two with um, with the uh, singed, and, I, didn't, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I saw that wasn't that great. Um, so yeah. I wish I kind of would have watched those games because it probably would have been an Amazing Grace, Miss Boo kind of, you know, slash. We would have given it to mm. either one of them. Um, that's something I'll try to get, get better on in the future. Uh, moving into the jungle, we have Melzlung. Um, I thought he was fantastic. He was fantastic for them both games. He's a good jungler. Yeah. Game one was much better than game two for him. Um, we banned out his Elise in game two. So I'm interested to see if he can keep coming up, coming up and getting this spot. There's actually not a lot of jungle pressure in this division, so he might be able to be a multi-time winner. Um, we'll have to yeah. look forward to that. In the mid lane, we have Flingo. Um, this was strictly talking to the person he laned against. You know, I'm good friends with Cassidy. He was like 
man, I got dumpster. Like, he was, like, demoralized, which is very mm -hmm. funny to hear from him. Uh, so I had to give it to Flingo. Um, I'm excited uh, to watch to watch him because, like, he, he seems to be, like, actually crazy good for his ring, which makes mm. his team in general pretty good. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so the 80 carry spot could have went to Austin, uh, no, no, 680, or Slicko. Um, and I almost gave it to Austin, but he died too much in my eyes as an 80 carry. Yeah. So yeah, I don't had, give it to Austin. <laughs> and, and it's Austin, right? I don't want to get <laughs> yeah. um, but So I gave it to Slicko because he put up the 17 kills. That's that's fan And he actually had a pretty mm -hmm. okay game one. Mm -hmm. all, like, all things considered for what happened to his team. Yeah. Um, so I definitely gave it to Slicko for AD carry of, for his role the, uh, for the role of the week. And then mm -hmm. support, uh, I gave it to Seaglass. Uh, she, out, she outplayed me, she outplayed Smigs, and she was everywhere for her team. So she gets support of the week for me. Um, so that was the Penguins division. Oh, voice crack. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll it's move, all good. We'll move on to the Steelers division now. And uh, this is one of those divisions that I I have a lot I like I have a lot of interest in. There's two really good teams in this division, um, and they actually face the other two teams in this division. So uh -huh. this is the only I think this is yeah I believe this is the only division. Nope, there's another one. Never mind. So I won't say that. So the first game we had up is the League Boomers versus Luigi's Ghost Hunters. Uh, League Boomers is one of those teams that was in my teams to watch at the beginning of the split. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because of their, their, I think they're very good throughout their whole team. And then I casted their week one matchup and they looked like absolute monsters. So mm -hmm. first off, they 2 0 to Luigi's Ghost Hunters. Um, game one was decided completely by Mordekaiser. Uh, and that's played by Minoy. Him and Pregnancy Risk look like absolute monsters together. It was kind of disgusting to watch. Did you get a chance to watch this game? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Uh, it was seriously at the point where, like, Minoy walked into a dragon fight by uh -huh. himself and took out three people uh, and, like, left with, like, 75% of his health bar. Uh-huh. So he finished the game with a 24 KDA, which is mind-boggling. Uh -huh. um, and... You know, there was a lot of talk about can Mikey come back, right? Cost or not cost Stoikian, he's just Stoikian. Yeah, just Stoikian now. It was can he come back? Can he be like what he used to be? And he was exactly what he needed to be. Great damage dealer in team fights. Didn't roll his lane, but didn't lose his lane either. So mm -hmm. he's exactly what this team needs. When you have somebody like Luis pregnancy risk in the jungle, Manoy carrying on the top lane, as long as your bot lane's there in the end game, that's all you can ask for. Uh, so that was game one. Game two was even worse by Minoy, or like worse on against his opponent. Like Minoy just he went off again. Um, he accounted for I think it ended up being like 60% of his team kills. Uh, this time on Aatrox, so he got actually got the Mordekaiser taken away, and he played Aatrox, and again he just carried, and it was kind of kind of uh disgusting to watch. He's He's easily slipped into, like, one of my number one players to look out for for the MVP. If, he, if I had to pick a mm -hmm. top three, he's easily in there. Uh, I think he has a lot of um, synergy with Pregnancy Risk. Uh, so when you have a high-quality jungler like that and you're a good top laner, like, and we and we talked about, like, if there's that top disparity, you know, you can kind of roll over. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens there. And then I want to give a little bit of talk to Luigi's Ghost Hunters. Um, I wrote a couple things down uh not too many great things happen for them, um, but I think they can get better if they play together. They do have Zelcor. He was one of the only players above yeah. one KDA. Mm -hmm. I feel like he needs to play more uh, champions who can have like a bigger effect on the game. I think he played Cho'Gath in one game. I think he played Heimer in the second game. Mm -hmm. And although those he won lane pretty handedly, mm -hmm. he didn't really like kill people. Like he just had huge CS leads and. Uh -huh. I think he needs to play a more effective, like, I'm going to carry this game. But I don't know if he wants to do that. If he doesn't want to do that and he just wants to have fun playing the champions he played, I think they're uh -huh. going to have a hard time this year, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and we'll have to see how they are, because League Boomers might be one of the best teams in the whole split. Mm -hmm. So, like, it might not be bad that you lost them that bad. Yeah. Uh, True. And just, like, a little side note, uh, I just want to shout out Blue Chip. He has one of the highest KDAs so far at 15 uh, 15 point like zero, I think. Um, I think it, it ranks in the top five right now. If I, I don't have the stat sheet in front of me, but I'm pretty sure when I saw it earlier, it was top five. 
uh, playing safe and, you know, you play with all these carries, you're going to be able to pick up some kills. Uh, so let's go to the second uh, the second game. I don't know how to pronounce I think it's Berry Berry. Berry Berry. I, think... I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it. it's Beery Beery. Beery That's Beery. how I pronounce it in my head, yeah. Okay, okay. So Berry Berry, who I didn't expect this, but they're... They, yeah. they dominated. Uh, um, uh, Bill Kramer is, uh, when you put him, I think he put this team at fourth in the, the division. Yeah. And, uh, Bill took major umbrage with that. He was very upset. So Bill's on this team, right? Yes. Uh, I don't think I talked about Bill one time in this slide. <laughs> I, so he's going to, he's going to be a little bit more mad at yeah. me. Um, so let's talk about the things I was really impressed with. Uh, uh -huh. game one, it was an overall team victory. So, I mean, to speak to him, he didn't feed or anything. He he did really well in the bot lane. They did really well in the mid lane, and I mean, they did ev everywhere was good. They they ended up having three double digit KDA like KDA players um, mm -hmm. after these two games, and that's just ridiculous to talk about. Uh, so the game one was kind of a team game, and then game two, Kelsval, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and cancellation. Boy, mm -hmm. they are disgusting. They put up some ridiculous numbers in this series. Uh, cancellation was one of the most surprising. I actually had to check his stats to make sure they weren't like fudging them. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. He played Jarvin both game, or he played Jarvin and Lee Sin, mm -hmm. and which are both like kind of go in and die kind of junglers mm -hmm. sometimes. And he only yeah. died one time in the whole the whole series. Yeah. And he has a 36 KDA right now. Bill said. Bill said he's very good. He said. I just want, like, I asked, do you have anything to say? Because uh, he's my roommate. And yeah. he said, the only thing I want to say is my jungler is very good. Uh, that's what I took away from it, too. I was, I, I like, I actually, like, my jaw dropped. I was like, how do you have a 36 k Like, it's not like he's yeah. playing, like, Karthus or something. You, me. Yeah. He's, play, he's not support main, you know? He's yeah. He's playing like these, I'm going to go in, I'm going to be our engage, and he just killed it. Um, the question leaving this series is, can they match the League Boomers? And... Honestly, they put forth just as good of an F, like a uh, game tape, if you will, yeah. that the League Boomers did. So I'm super excited to see that matchup. I hope I'm able to stream that one or be in the stream or at least watch the stream. And it's not mm. one of those five people are playing at 8 o'clock on Sunday, one of those things, because that's going to yeah. be a pretty good game, and it will really show us who's at the top of the ladder. Um, and I and I, I kind of feel bad for Unstick the Lake. I'm not going to say much about you guys it just kind of seemed like you were totally outmatched in this series. And sometimes that's just how it happens. Um, so Berry Berry and league boomers are going to be tied for, at three points. Um, and there's not much to say. I think there's a clear divide between the top two teams and the bottom two teams in this division. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I'm going to just go through this pretty quick. I'll keep the KDAs up there so that you guys got, can look at them, especially the Berry Berry ones. Cause those are real, by the way. I looked at them all. I made I made sure that they're real. Yeah. Um, it's kind of it's kind of impressive. But I just listed them with how I had them on the first slide. They're they're literally one together. Like it's not. There's no difference between them. I think they're both extremely strong. Uh, we'll have to see what happens as the split goes on because there's a chance Mikey gets better. Uh, Stoikion gets better. Um, yeah. I mean, you were talking about uh. Talking about Poggles, right? He, mm -hmm. he has one of the worst KDAs on his team, so we can expect him yeah. to come. Uh, he's a he's a no loss champion. Sucks. He's a no loss yeah. champion, though, right? So yeah. he's got he's got to catch that KDA. Freshly up to, minted, he does. He's got to catch that KDA up to some of those some of. His, I mean, those are some gaudy numbers. Yeah. I it's kind of it's kind of crazy to look at them. Thirty six and almost twenty KDAs. So it's, it's pretty uh it's pretty impressive to see. Thank you for the uh, follow, by the way. Um, so. Again, uh, I talked a lot about these teams and their game matchups, unfortunately, because they kind of they kind of steamrolled their opponents. Um, so we'll get into the role MVPs, and as you can imagine, it's going to be filled with those two teams. <laughs> yeah. Just to jump into it. Uh, so the first one we have top was Minoy. Um, I kind of gave it to him by default over Fantastic Ninja because Fantastic Ninja only played one game. He got yeah. subbed out the first one. Oh really? And, and so. I couldn't really judge him, and then on the flip side of that, Minoy carried both games. So, like, F Fantastic Ninja would have had to have a super good game anyways, and I just thought Minoy was kind of the easy pick here. Again, he's one of my MVP picks as of right now. 
mm-hmm. which won't be just decided by me, by the way. I will have a whole thing to do with that at the end of the year. Um, I don't see how you can give it to anybody but cancellation in the jungle. 36 KDA kind of speaks for itself. I already talked a lot about him. Um, so he picks up his, his first role MVP. Uh, I gave the mid to Kale's wall because I thought that he um, he was more impactful to his team's games than Blue Chip was. Uh, mm-hmm. That's not to say Blue Chip's bad or anything. I'm just saying when we're going to give it to the role MVP of the week, I'm going to give it to somebody who I thought had the bigger impact, not necessarily the higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and also 19.5 KDA, so pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, ADC is the Stoikion. Uh, his team fighting was much better than I expected it to be. He was always positioned right. Uh, the MF alts were pretty pretty good in game one. So I think he slightly out, you know, slightly edged Poggles um, for the role MVP of the week. Uh, also significantly better AD, or KDA, which isn't everything, but this week it does matter. And the support is Sereth. Uh, he is the support for Poggles, though, because he... I mean, he pretty perfect support. 10 KDA, <gasps> stayed alive. Uh, is the chat is the chat going crazy? I'm I, I'm laughing at clash with team inner thoughts. I wish people noticed my ult. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah. So it's uh it's only week one. You can still get. Mm-hmm. You can still. You know, if we have a little, you know, clash with team fat boy stoic rivalry yeah to get the rules of the week that'll be fun to watch going forward so i don't know we'll have to see uh that's gonna wrap up the steelers division though we're yeah. gonna head we're gonna head into the panthers division uh yeah. actually we're gonna i'm gonna let you take this away because it's so much easier to talk about your own game um so i'll put i'll I'm sure gonna, i'm gonna click through so you're gonna have everything up for your game and just go ahead and talk yeah so um so uh we went one one it was uh it was actually really one of the best uh, two game series I've ever played. Shout out to the other team and my team, of course. Um, they played really well. Uh, game one, we were ahead uh, early, and then uh, we got Cassidy. Shout out to uh, Blowdrop Princess. He uh, he balled out as at, at Cassidy. You know, please change turn the game, game around because I yeah. hate I hate typing it. <laughs> Saying that, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, he played really well. And um, so did the rest of his... Like, I'm not saying, you know, his team didn't play well. Um, and then game two, we were actually behind. I was worried. I was like, oh, dude, you know, I don't want to get 0 2 at the beginning, you know, in our first week. That sucks, right? But we came back. We actually, like, we came back really hard. Shout out to all my team for that. That was very, very impressive. I didn't think we could come back. Uh, but we did. And, uh, yeah, uh, as you can see here, Butternutters, Gnar. Uh, really, my whole team... Really, all of them did very well. So I included, Butternutters but... Nard did... Yeah, it did surprise me, though. He had yeah. some actually really, really good ults. Um, I wish there... Were... My sh- game did not get streamed. I wish there was a VOD, because this was actually a game that a lot of people, I think, would have liked to watch. And we're tied for second place. So, let's... speaking of VODs right now, because this was mentioned at the uh-huh. early, earlier on the stream chat, um, uh-huh. people seem... Like, if we can get a lot of games streamed, right, there's a lot of chance of getting clips. And these clips mm. could be awesome plays. They can be funny Submit plays. Submit these clips, If fellas. you Listen, I am so active on Facebook Messenger. Like, it's... I'm... I don't have a life. So, like, I'm literally... My phone's always on me, and I'm always responding. So, if you're ever like, Hey, Drew, I did this really cool thing, and you clip, you clip it, and you send it to me, and I can get enough on there that I think it's worth, you know, part of the hour I try to put the show on for, I'll put it in there. So, for future mm-hmm. reference, like, just send them to me. I'm, I'm Drew Soleil on Facebook. You can send. I'm always on Discord because I leave my computer on all the time. Uh, Teamspeak. If you want to message me on Teamspeak, I'm always in there. So literally, I'm very accessible. So if you ever think, "Hey, I I made these two cool plays," uh, that's always been a cool part of the club. And we'll just have a part where we view Twitch clips, and we'll and it'll be awesome. Um, so going forward, we we can we can have the OS big plays of the week. We can we can name it something. We can have a lot of fun with it. Um, but going forward, clip them, send them to me, you know, and, and we'll go from there. So, uh, just a little, a little message to everybody so that maybe we can, maybe we can incorporate that going forward. Cause I don't know how to, I don't know how to video edit or anything. So I'm not going to edit the clips together for us. So I'll just literally play the clip. <laughs> so that's all that's going to happen. <laughs> um, 
So, in the other game, we had Team 11 versus, Team 11 versus the five Carusos. I actually streamed oh. I streamed this game. So, uh-huh. um, Team 11 is Sanka's team, Sab's team, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, uh, real, real quick note, if I, if I can. Go, yeah, go ahead. In. Jump in. If you don't have a team name yet, uh, really, pick one. Even if it's just your captain's name, pick one. This Team 9, Team 11 bullshit, not good. I don't like it. Nobody likes it. Ironically, though, Sab That's actually all. won his team name to be Team 11. Cause he's, oh, okay. He's actually was Team 10. He's kind oh, of, really? <laughs> he's a pretty big troll. But, uh, yeah, Team Team 10 okay. did rename to Team 11. Um, so to get back to this game, uh, Team 11 is the – I don't know if everybody – if anybody watched or if, you, if you're in this chat, if you watched – uh, the preseason edition. Team 11 is the team I projected to win the championship. I thought their draft was super good. Um, and it's funny because we're going to get into their stats and they look bad. They don't look like they dumpstered their opponent. Uh, and actually, they didn't really dumpster them game one, but game two they did. We have did. good teams in our division. Though. Yeah. And the whole Panthers division is very good, I think. And it was kind of shocking that Team 11 did this well against the five Caruso's. Um, Game one, it was carried by Flutter Swag. And carry, after I type this and after I'm looking at this, carry is an interesting word I chose because he did get a triple kill at three and a half minutes, but then he also did die consecutive, like like four times consecutively without doing anything. That's the song Keth um, way. Yeah. Um, and that almost cost him the game, though. Uh, then he got to the point where he was half helping two people at once on Zoe. So I guess that's a carry still. Um, but he almost threw it at the same time. Uh, so, I just have a message to everybody, too. You're not going to ban out Zap. I mean, it's a little free free, uh, free research note. He can play, like, 20 different mids. So, <laughs> save your bans um, yeah. for somebody else. Uh, game 2 was a lot better. Uh, and uh, I remember streaming this game, and I was really impressed with Third Raid Duelist. Uh, he played Orn because game one he played Kled and he kind of just split pushed the whole game. Mm-hmm. And then game two he played Orn and they did like a more of a team fight strategy and he was phenomenal. His Orn ults were always on. Uh, he got a couple solo kills. Um, and I just thought he, I thought maybe going forward that was the better play style for their team in general. Um, but he 14 KDA in that game he was seven one seven, and he had a significant CS lead and you know he got a ton of objectives so. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty good performance by him. Uh, and as you can see, Team 11 is going to be standing atop the division at three points, which is that's big in a competitive division like this to get 2-0 over any of these teams. Um, mm-hmm. So we'll have to go from there. Uh, let's jump into the top two teams. I, I don't think it's any surprise that I have Team 11 as my, my best team. Um, so this is what I was talking about. If you look at their KDAs, it's actually very unimpressive. Um, SCW LOL didn't actually even play in the series. He was subbed out, and the sub they got went ape shit. He was crazy, dude. Like, uh, I don't know if people know him, SmartPants77, but, like, <laughs> it was some of the cleanest Lee Sin play I've seen in a while. Uh, and that's not that's pretty rare for the OLS. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think Flutter Swag's KDA is kind of a misnomer, though. I did talk about how he died four times in Zoe in a row. Uh, if he doesn't die those four times, his KDA is, like, way higher um i think he kind of just lost the edge because the game was kind of out of he thought that the game was out of reach at that point um mm-hmm. i do think aiden did a really good job of getting the five crosses back in that game uh so again i think his kda could be higher um i think if this team has a weakness it's going to be their bot lane and that's not to throw shade at their bot lane i just think everybody else on their team's a lot better so if mm-hmm. you're going to attack somebody on their team it would be their bot lane because I think Sky Blue Dragon's a thresh main, right? So he's a support sub- main. Yeah, he's, playing his AD thresh carry. Is clean. Shout out, yeah. shout out, Xavier. Yeah, and uh, they actually ban thresh every game or both games, so um, uh-huh. <laughs> they didn't want to face that or Lorraine's thresh. I don't know. Uh, it could have been either of them. Yeah, um, might might be not so good scouting. Yeah, I also want to say uh, I did not do this to pander to John. Uh, you can uh-huh. ask John. I was putting together the doc. Like, literally up until about yeah. an hour before the show. And I had no idea who to put in the second team. Mainly yeah. because if you're a captain, input your screenshots and input your stats, please. Yeah. It just makes it makes my life easier, I'm not going to lie. And, like, it, it makes everybody's life easier. So, please do it. Um, so, I put I put you guys, Michael Bloomberg 2020, I put you guys there. Uh, I thought... Thank you. I thought... I thought your games... 
I thought game one of your series you could have won. And then yeah, I, we could have. And I, I thought game two you did win. So I thought yeah. like you could have like one. I feel like if you just we had ended, one and a half. Yeah, wins. in my mind, yeah. that's how I rationalized <laughs> yeah. it. Um, and then I you told me right before the right before that this this uh this chart here is not correct, right, John? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually jungling this split. I uh, slow subbed, so uh, I played AD carry. Okay, so we're gonna have to move you around. Um, yeah. So we'll have to see if your KDA goes up or down. The, yeah, still still ban me out for AD carry, please. I don't have a lot of jungle champs. Um, but Thank yeah. you. So we put you at number two. And again, this is so early in the season that these rankings don't mean anything. It just is something for me to talk about and for John to talk about right now. Um, yeah. So don't, like, feel bad or think, like, oh, God. Like, you be like Poggles, right? Poggies. Yeah. Like Poggles or Poggies? Poggies. Poggies. Be like Poggies. And, and and get mad at me and just perform better. Uh huh. That's yeah. what that's what you should do. You should. Although Bill was here. not performing better. Yeah, I mean, he lost a Stoikion. Yeah. And, Ugh. So, Ugh. so uh, but um, in the Panthers division, we're gonna jump into the the role MVPs of the week. Um, in the top, we had Butternutter. Uh, again, this is your top layer, John. And I I kind of just yeah. I kind of again your games weren't streamed, so I kind of just had to do a box yeah. score and some stats looking. And no, he, he played pretty well. The NAR game is what caught my attention. He went 5-1-14, yeah. and I just thought and that was great. He's he's a quiet guy, so I kind of like... You know, and top lane is like a kind of a quiet role, so I kind of forgot that like we even had a NAR. And then I hit tab, and I'm like, yo, you're popping off, dude. <laughs> That's always so good. I was like, nice. Like, That's so good. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, he's not like jungler, come up here or anything. Yeah. He's just like, I'm yeah, just yeah, going to yeah. do me, man. Like, that's yeah. fine. Um, in the jungle, it was Sea Kill. He's good. Yeah, I thought so. Sea kill on Aiden's team, right? He's on the mm -hmm. five cruises, yep. and I think I gave it to him because I thought he did a really good job. Uh, his KDA wasn't that great, but he was like solely responsible for keeping his team in that game one. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, two people had their jungler subbed out this in this division, so yeah. he kind of only had to beat one person out. Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't want. Maybe you can take that as an insult, Sea kill, but. Uh, that's why you don't see somebody else in this spot right now. Uh, he was on a losing team, so that's kind of strange. Mm -hmm. um, the mid went to went. So this was tough. Okay, I had to choose between Blowjob Princess and you know I I talked a lot about uh, Sab Flutter Swag 99, mm -hmm. and I chose to go with Blowjob Princess because talking to you, you kind of made it yeah. seem like he's the he, only he, reason he won the game. He yeah. won game one for them. Yeah. And he I turned think, that around single-handedly. And I feel like Sab has a little bit more going on around him that helps him uh, uh -huh. see, succeed to be his best. So I gave the MVP to Blowjob Princess. It's that common MVP debate you get. It's not like, is it the best player on the best team? Or yeah, is, yeah, it, yeah. is it the player who's most valuable? And I gave mm -hmm. it to Blowjob Princess. So uh, I gave you the AD carry, uh, AD carry spot. Um, mainly Thank because you. I didn't think there was very many good AD carry performances and uh -huh. you had the you had the Lucian game which caught my eye uh, yeah the Lucian game was pretty good yeah you were the pretty... Ash game was good too until Cassidy got big okay <laughs> but, so, so yeah. that's something I don't get to see in the stats yeah, right? yeah 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 um yeah. so I saw the Lucian game and it looked like you kind of were really de or important to your team uh -huh. so I, I kind of gave it to you for that reason um I, I was actually looking strongly at Aiden but he had a no, I'm sorry, Aiden, if you're here, but you had a really bad game too, like real bad. And I was like, Ugh. I can't, I can't give it to him for that. Ugh. Um, and I didn't think, uh, I didn't think Sab's AD carry was too important for his team. Um, so that's how I, I ended up on you for the AD carry spot. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this award to uh, Bill, Aiden, uh, Austin Nooner, and all of the other great AD carries that I beat out for this award. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> those are in other divisions but we'll, we'll yes, accept it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes uh and mr splendid uh, okay I'm mr splendiferous yeah splendiferous okay All he's right. good dude he's really good i was uh so this is the blitzcrank guy right yeah yeah i mean i'm sure i'm sorry He's not the blitzcrank. That's blitz okay. Crank. He's not the blitzcrank guy. He's definitely not the blitzcrank guy. Definitely not. Uh, uh he's a he's a karma yumi yeah uh Zyra. Uh, support gangplank yeah. type guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he, uh, 
I looked at his box scores and they were nuts. And yeah. You, and then you showed me the play before this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good so play. He, so he definitely deserved the uh, support MVP of the Panthers division. Um, going forward, uh, I'm interested to see who starts to capture the jungle award in this uh-huh. division. As I said, we had two subs this, uh, in this division, unfortunately. So um, the division wasn't at full force uh, this mm-hmm. week, but we'll see what happens in the upcoming weeks. And just a, just a small breakdown. This, ro- this will be for a given week. So this won't be a year-long tracker. So it's not going to be like, but another one week one, can he build off that? I'm just going to separate, like, were you the MVP this week in your, your position? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just yeah, so I wanted to make that. A... So you could have sucked last week. Clean, clean slate every yeah. week. You could have sucked last week, and you can be the MVP next week. So, uh, with that, we're gonna jump into our last division, uh, and this division is wild, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. On paper, this division <laughs> looks nuts. Um, unfortunately, it's one of the the least balanced divisions. Yeah. Um, maybe ever. <laughs> yeah. When we left the draft, I think everybody was made painfully aware there was one team significantly worse than the other team. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just a fact. I, it's not me being mean. That just sometimes happens with the draft when you're trying to screw people over. It's unfortunate. Um, so that is the first game. We have Monopoly fucking sucks versus a Wild Manatee appeared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that didn't go well for a Wild Manatee that appeared. They, um, <laughs> I, I'm sure you've seen there's a there's a there's a couple uh, clips from Neil Stream already shared floating this, around. Yeah, in this Twitch chat. Um, they didn't go well for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't been in the club obviously for three years though. But this Northar guy. Popped off. I don't know who that is, honestly. Okay, so I know even... Imperiu, but I don't know Northar. Yeah, so Imperiu is um, the really good AD Tasia. carry. Okay, yeah. that that I never saw, right? I never yeah. I never saw him either. Mm-hmm. But Northar, he had eight kills of Sona. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, he like almost like carried. Um, Sona's pretty nutty. And then Imperio, I he carried in game two. Like it was just like they were disgusting together. Uh, this bot lane easily is. So, in my mind, there's two good bot lanes. There's uh, Slicko and Stash, right? Because they're they've played together already, and then they're highly ranked together. And then there's this bot lane who looked just absolutely disgusting in the week one. Um, so those two, I think, we're gonna end up uh, fighting for best bot lane of the year, which is actually an award. Just to let you know, it's gonna be the best duo bot lane of the year. Uh, and I think those two are the easy front runners for the award. Um, We'll see if Poggies or Stoikion has anything to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you might be uh, interested to see that the, they are tied atop the division, though. Yes. And that is because we saw a ridiculously weird thing out of this game. Um, Honestly, kind of an upset. Yeah. I think we play. Go my ahead. team plays um, FF at 15 and a Wild Manatee appeared. Those are two out of conference games. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, at least, you know, like, FF at 15 looks like a good team, but it's least, at least it's not as good as Thigh High Save Lives. But, uh, ooh. Uh-oh. And uh, I see number zero actually said that it should be noted that every player on a Wild Manatee appeared to change roles. I actually yeah. listed that. I said, Wild Manatee seems to be figuring out roles, though. We will see how this shakes yeah. up throughout the season. We're figuring out a lot. Uh, good luck. The, the good thing is you don't really have to care about the pick ban because – uh-huh. It's not going to matter. Um, so two of for fi- forfeit of 15. Uh, I know this team didn't play together like at all before this game, like because I'm friends with Pharaoh. Wild. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know how often you're going to see the unconventional Pike 80 carry carry a game. But that's Probably never hap- again. But that's what happened game one. Because he'll you- never get it. Wait, you would think you would never see it after game one, right? Uh-huh. Well, thigh high saves, thigh high save lives were like, he can't do that twice. Well, he did. They gave him Pike yeah. again. And yeah, he... that actually doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> and he carried even harder in game two. Um, it's kind of weird because, like, technically Imperio was the better AD carry this week, right? But Chinese New Year was the better, like, AD carry slot player this week. Uh, it's so confusing. I don't know why he decided to do that. I think he said it was, like, last-second thought. They played, like, a, a random scrim against somebody before the game, and he was like, mm-hmm. oh, I had a lot of fun doing that. And mm-hmm. just decided to break it out. Um, the games weren't even close, which was really surprising. Like you said, it was kind of an upset. Um, yeah. And I don't know what was happening in their pick and ban. Um, so, uh, tied atop the division, though, with Monopoly fucking sucks. 
Uh, what? See if thigh highs save lives is better than that. Maybe they just had an off night because I perceived them to be a lot better than what I ended up seeing. So, um, we'll jump into the power rankings, and obviously we're gonna know who the two teams are. The first team is forfeit of fifteen to me, and mm -hmm. that's because their whole team kind of played well. It wasn't. Really? Okay. It wasn't just uh, a Pharaoh stomping. I mean, he. Eight, Chinese New Year's he there. He has 17 and a half KDA. Okay, that's yeah, he, yeah, he did. It's pretty, him. it's pretty high. Um, yeah. but DDM 13, he he played safe mids and he excelled at them. Um, Raindrop had uh, uh Jonah had an amazing game one on Shavana. Game two he slipped up a little bit and that's why his KDA fell. But I think he only had I think he had either zero or one death in game one. Death in game one. Um, so I think we'll have to see if. What happens with this bot lane? I mean, I'm going to guess that Pike's getting banned, but, like, mm -hmm. what is he going to pull out if he just pulled out Pike? Interesting to see. And we'll see if uh, Lobsh... 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 Yeah, yeah that guy's name. Maybe Lobsish. 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 Yeah. yeah, we'll have to see if uh, they can continue this hook-hook bot lane, because I think he played Thresh both games, too. It was, okay. kind of, it was kind of fun to watch. Um, the other reason I gave them the number one team is because they didn't face a wild manatee that appears. Yeah. yeah. So to me, it kind of felt like probably a gimme. Yeah. Um, Monopoly fucking sucks though. I will give them second place because their bot lane was gross. And number zero actually had a really good series. Um, one game was significantly better than the other one, and I I'm so sorry. I, I forget which game was much better. Um, I really I'm sorry. One game I think you only had zero. I think you had zero deaths. Um, and Tasia's Imperio for okay. Yeah, you mm. you answered it. Um. So I think the bot lane with number zero played really well. Uh, but you do have BD, who is an absolute wild card, which is something I stated in Total. the preseason edition. Um, so we'll have to see what goes on with Play, that. Playing Alex in his first game, by the way. Oh, yeah. I kind of I forgot about no that. Content, no content around that. I'm upset. I didn't even think about that. I mean, Neil streamed, but there was a lot of content there. Yep. True. <laughs> uh, okay. It's, so going into the role MVPs. Um, so this was really hard for me to do. Uh, because two teams <laughs> yeah. obviously outperformed the other two teams, uh -huh. and I didn't know how to give the awards out. Um, so Master Surgeon won this, but he didn't really run away with it. It was kind of equal to BD, um, but BD played Manatees, so I had to give it to Master Surgeon, which mm -hmm. is what you're going to see a lot of in this slide. Jungle, again, I think, I think Jonah actually outplayed the other jungler for, but it was one of those things where it's like, he didn't play Manatee. Uh, and then again, Eric, he he didn't play the Manatees, no offense, number zero. Like, I just feel like you, you guys so outmatched them that it's hard to get a, a gist on if you actually needed your performances. Yeah. Uh, in the bot lane, I should just put bot. Uh, he's not an AD, he didn't play AD carry. But yeah. obviously you, you have to give it to the unconventional pike. Uh, but the support does go over to North R because he had the uh, fantastic Sona game and then he followed that up with another great game. Um, where they forced the forfeit at 17 minutes. Him and Imperio, like I said, are one of the more terrifying bot lanes to face. So that wraps up um, all our divisions and the role MVPs of the week, etc. Um, do you have anything to end there before we get to the series that we're excited for? Uh, no. All right. So I have three series that I'm really excited for. Um, Monopoly fucking sucks going against Team 11. These are two 2-0 two teams. It's the, I think it's the only one of those on the schedule. Um, I'm excited to see how the bot lane goes against Sab and his carry style. Uh, and we'll have to see if SCW Law plays this week because he didn't play last week. Um, mm -hmm. Then we have Mod Squad versus... Oh, this actually is a 2-0 versus 2-0. Um, I just think my team's really bad, so I don't think Mod Squad's 2-0 is real. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're facing Barry Barry. Um... Again, though, 2-0 versus 2-0, that's an exciting game to watch, and uh, we'll have to see if Barry Barry looks as good as they did week one, or if Mod Squad can prove me wrong and be like, shut up, Drew, like, we're actually good, you, and your team's bad. We'll have to see. Um, and I actually picked Forfeit of 15 versus your team, because I thought your team was the mm -hmm. top two team in your division, and I mm -hmm. thought FF of 15 was the top team in their division. So that was a yeah, game. Yeah, I think I, it'll be a good game. It's a game I'm excited to see, and obviously you're not going to let Pharaoh get Pike. I'm assuming. We will not. We yeah. Will, that will not happen. All right. Uh, so we know that right now, today, and the game's probably not even scheduled yet. It is not scheduled. It, yeah. However, <laughs> it will not be scheduled for this weekend. Uh, it will be next week. 
Okay, so maybe we we'll do get, know that. Maybe we'll get a nice stream in then. Yep, Eric, if you're watching, how's Friday? <laughs> I'm gonna doubt he's watching. <laughs> um, yeah. So, if you were here for the preseason edition, that wraps up um, our talk about the OLS. Uh, we will do a Twitch chat in a second. Um, but we're going to get into the DFS lineup of the week. Um, I'll give a quick overview of it. DFS is daily fantasy. Uh, you pay a certain amount of money, you get entered into a competition where you score fantasy points, and the person with the most fantasy points or X amount of fantasy points to cash, etc. You you get money for for playing fantasy League of Legends. Um, uh, so I'm gonna pay the entry, and I I've said this before, but if like we win money, it's going towards the um, the winners of the OLS. Uh, but if we don't win money, then I just lose a dollar, and it's not the end of the world. Uh, we did figure out how to do the um, the poll questions today, so I'm going to wait till I get three answers in Twitch oh, chat. Oh, true. I'm gonna wait till I get Good three, idea. three question or three answers in Twitch chat, and then we'll make a poll based off of those those answers, and then we'll go mm -hmm. from there. So last last time we did this, it did not go well when we were trying to, uh, you know, go from like jump around. So we're actually gonna just start at the captain. So I want you guys to show me some <laughs> forgiven, for RIP forgiven. <laughs> um, but we're gonna we're gonna I want you guys to throw some captain names out there. You should be able to see it on the screen. Let me make sure it's visible. Um, I'm pretty sure it's visible. Yep, it's visible. So just throw out some names, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, usually you want to pick an AD carrier or a mid laner. They just happen to score the most amount of points most of the time. So Twitch chat, I believe there's people here still, I hope. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of people here. So if you guys like the OLS, who's some players that you think that we should be entering into our lineup? So we got we got one person that says Zven, Okay. Uh, that was a good pick the one week we almost won money off him, but the rest of our lineup was terrible. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right, dude. Uh, so Zven. If nobody else says anything, we're going to go with Zven. And then number zero is going to end number up Number zero is going <laughs> to... He's going to end up making the entire thing. And that's fine. But just remember, we have Twitch chat questions coming up in a second. After this. Okay, if nobody else responds, we're going to do Zven. And if nobody responds after Zven number zero, we're just going to we're just going to cut it because people don't want to do it. And that's fine. We'll replace this next week. Are we on to the top lane? Anybody? All right, John, we're going to cut it. That's fine. That's fine. We'll move in. Twitch something. chat questions. Twitch chat questions. This is where we want to go. Uh, ask Anything about the OLS. is available. You Nothing is out of bounds. You can ask us whatever you need to ask us. Um, whatever you think. Uh, whatever you want to you understand about the show. Uh, you can give us suggestions for the show right now. Um, why, why the disrespect for the top team in the OLS? Well, nobody disrespected I think, I the think, Boomers. I think Drew was very respectful about my team. Yeah, and nobody was, nobody disrespected the Boomers or Team 11, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, John, will you uh, be his Valentine? I will not be your Valentine. I'm already locked up. Shout out to my girlfriend. Oh, that's a question for somebody else in Twitch chat. That's a hard one for me yeah, to answer. Why did your team roll swap? I, yeah. I can answer that. Uh, however, fun. I will choose not to. Uh, yeah, they're trying to have fun. Bottom line. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just get dealt a bad hand and you gotta go make the best of it. Yeah. Uh, strategic diversity, Neil says. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we had a bunch of questions throughout the stream, which is probably why this is a little dead right now, and we're coming uh -huh. up on an hour. I think yeah. um, the best thing is I got from this stream is people want to see the highlights. Uh, yeah. The, the Twitch. Submit highlights, folks. You know, uh, you're the best people. You know what what good plays you had. Also, we don't. We also, don't want to look through all the VODs. Yeah, and not just the VODs. You, you can, you're can. you like, oh, we had a great play. Just go pull it up with your, your whatever. What's it called? Uh, on League. On the replay view. Yeah, on the replay thing. And just, you know, clip, clip it. it. Send it. Yeah, that's all you have to do, and we'll make sure. I would love to get five plays next week so that I can just ditch the DFS lineup of the week, which was uh -huh. terrible, and we can just input top five highlights. But it will be yeah. at the end of the show, so you all have to stick around. Yeah. That's the one thing. And if we have a hype caster behind it, that's even better. 
Um, yeah. we, tried, we did try to cast a lot of games last week, and I think we succeeded. We um, did. It was unfortunate because a lot of captains scheduled for the exact same, same time. Same time. Yeah. And honestly, as a person who's captained before, I totally, I actually totally get it. Um, Sundays usually are like the only time you can get in with your whole team. So hopefully we can get more game streams. There's tons of people streaming on tons of different channels. Keep an eye on the pit, the the pit, uh, lol pit, lol pit page. Facebook page. Yeah. Um, in, in the future, and you'll you'll be able to catch up on those things. And please go watch the games because you guys can clip it and send it to me if you see a dope play. It doesn't have yeah. to be the people who did it. Uh, I would love to see all the cool plays that come from uh, around Lol Pit, and I hope that you guys join us um, next week. Uh, we'll have a we'll have another show. Uh, we might change up uh, some of the formatting. Um, next week is all out of division play. So we'll have to see who comes out as like the Ooh. best divisions. Yeah, um, mine. Yeah. Panthers, baby. <laughs> we'll have to see, uh, and we'll see who's gonna be the leaders of the conferences uh, through 40% of the season. We only have five weeks, so yeah. Uh, after this week, we're already we're almost halfway there already. Um, I just want to thank John. Uh, thank you for joining me. You you were a great guest. Uh, Thanks for having me. Um, again, if you're a captain or even if you're a player and you had a great game, like come to me. Like, hey, you want to do an interview or something? We've done yeah. them in the past, and I, they're actually kind of fun. Uh, it'll be quick, si six, seven minutes, and you'll be you can just leave after that, mm -hmm. and it'll be a good time. Um, like I said, uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, keep an eye on the Facebook. I'll, I'll post uh, when we're going to be uh, doing it again. It's probably always going to be Thursday around 8, 8, 15 p.m. That's just the best time for me, and I have to put the dock together and everything. So uh, try to play your games by Tuesday nights. That's also pretty important. Because then, yeah. then you can get entered into all the, the – I have all the data at that point. Uh, but thank, thanks again for joining us, everyone. Um, thank, you, thank you again for all the follows. Uh, Dragon Witch, Master Nolan, <laughs> Coin Shot, Clash with Team. Uh, John, thank you. Um, thank you for joining us. And uh, have a good night. Yeah, have a good night.